Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're back playing Neon Sundown. So yeah, I mean, the last time we played we upgraded some of these power modules, unlocked a couple. These ones right here. Um, I, mean, I don't think I ever tested them out, so... You know what? Let's, uh, let's actually put them on my character. Uh, so we're gonna actually... We're Probably, uh, we're gonna go back for the abyss and try to survive for that 10 minutes. Still have a duster. Um, but yeah, let's just go in with this guy. And yep, you have this little turret here. Got to destroy, destroy these little triangles that come out. Nice thing is, experience will automatically get pulled towards you, which is amazing. Split shot is always a really good. Oh wait, and I just realized that you know it doesn't bounce off the screen, but it like it, it's it explodes off screen and then like comes back. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think split shot is going to be one of the main ones I go for. The split shot also, I'm not sure if it affects other weapons. It kind of feels like it does. Um, like if I shoot out a torpedo, right? Okay. Let's see. Go torpedo, go. Okay, it doesn't actually seem like it, it it's affected by split shot. Um, uh, go for a torpedo flood. So now there's just gonna be a ton of torpedoes. Ship to your cursor. Oh yeah, and then we'll go for explosions on impact, which is going to be really strong. Um, we'll go for multi shot. Oh gosh. Um, go for the split shot. Oh yeah, see now I now that I got split shot, it's the torpedoes are splitting. I don't I don't quite understand how that works. Whatever. And they also have piercing now, because of the one thing, because I have piercing as one of my modules. I'm not entirely yeah, I'm really not sure how the torpedo things work. I don't know if they only gain the upgrade after I get it. Um, I don't know. It's a little confusing. Go go for the neon scythe. That should hopefully help keep things away from me and deal enough damage. So we're in phase four, it says. So let's look at pulse. I'm not sure. If... Oh, pulse is like an ability. I have to actually use pulse with with right click. Okay. Yeah, that is definitely not something that I knew. Okay. Glad I know that now. Glad I know that now. Okay. Go for some upgrades for the neon scythe. Yeah. So we'll go for. Speed, so it you know swings around I don't know if attack speed I still don't know if attack speed affects the neon scythe like I'm thinking it's probably just okay what's done damage to me I didn't I, I didn't think I got hit by anything oh the little guys and the big guys are probably what are hitting me? Oh, so I have to actually be right clicking to place down these mines. Okay. So I have to hold left and right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, and you have auto fire as well. 
So does auto fire do? Okay, it doesn't do secondary. Okay. Um. Why does it do I'm not right clicking. Okay. Uh so that affects this ah uh, Whatever. Guess I'll have to use left and right click then. It's a little annoying. It's fine. Projectile size, we'll go for more fire rate. Um, increase all weapon fire rates. Go torpedoes, go! For another upgrade, speed, projectile size. Go for more speed. Damage might have been better, but eh, it's fine. This, oh my gosh, this is like, the, this is genuinely like the ultimate, like, um, let me re-roll upgrades. Stun, light size. Go for stun. Yeah, this is literally like the ultimate bullet hell type game. I mean, kind of. Really, I'm, I'm the one contributing most to the bullet hell of this game. projectile. We'll go for more XP gain, I guess. XP gain I don't think is really going to be that great actually, but I guess might as well go for it. Crit chance. We'll go for more XP gain. Ooh, additional redraw or healing totem. Healing totem would be really good. I'd love to have that in the future. Have a way of actually healing. We'll go for shurikens. Have another projectile, another weapon to shoot out. Oh, okay. Taking a bit of damage. Um, we'll go for more fire rate. Okay, surviving for 10 minutes is actually kind of rough. Because these big guys start swarming very quickly and I don't have a way of healing. Other than getting like sh crystals once in a while, but that's about it. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, I forgot to... Give me healing! Okay, we got the healing, healing totem. What kind of upgrades can I even get for... Uh-oh. Uh, of course I just teleport on top of some enemies. But yeah, like, what kind of upgrades can you even get for the... For the teleport? Like, I don't understand. Come on, eight minutes, eight minutes, we're almost there, we're almost there, we can make it. Come on. Moving healing totem. Let's try, let's try Fear Factory this time. Cause this time we just have to defeat the Razor Claw guy. So. Go for a healing totem. Go for split shot. Uh. Split shot again. Split shot again. Not sure what kind of upgrade you can get for the healing totem, but I'm all for it. I guess just probably heal faster. Go for the Neon Scythe. Uh, that says minus 75% knockback. That's the part that I don't fully understand. Like, wouldn't you want it to deal more knockback to enemies, not less knockback? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Basically, fully relying on like lifetime of all projectiles. We'll go for shurikens. So at least we get something that does damage, rather than just my main attack. But like the main attack is actually doing incredibly well. Go for overclock. Go for a teleport. 
Teleport is actually pretty good. It's a lot better than I thought it would be. I'm not really going to be using it very often, right? at least right now, but later on, probably will be using it quite a bit. for more damage. What is that? Okay. Okay, no idea what that was either. Yep, and then we'll go for explosive. Explosive would actually will actually be really good. Oh my gosh. Go for more damage. Did I ever destroy that crystal? I think I probably did. Go for more fire rate. Torpedoes, projectile size, spread I don't think really matters, so. Teleport is actually like insane for movement. Um, go for more projectile size. Oh, jeez. Oh, yep. There's Razor Claw. the teleport. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Okay, that guy's a tough... I'm ta I'm s these beginning ones are okay. Since... Alright, upgrade that, I think. Oh, increase my piercing as well. Okay, I think that's going to be it for today. Wow, that... This is a fun game, but it's very, like... Like, intense sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, okay. My name's Sam. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of Neon Sundown. If you did, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. It means the world to me. It doesn't cost you guys anything. And yeah. Hope to see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.